Why, why would you want a younger sibling? Just curious. Well, if it was to be a girl, I mean, you know, if she were to go to a girl, all-girls school and... You just uh, want to get to know her friends, right? <laughs> then I can take care of her. Hey, I'm the youngest of four, so two boys, two girls. And you are not 12? I would like to think I, I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I was very uh, well taken care of. Of course! The youngest one is always well taken care of. No, but I tell you, I this is your typical kampong boy. Everything you do yourself, you know. I, I grew up in a kampong. Uh, we lived in a kampong filled with like with Chinese, Indian, Malays. Uh, so every the, the community was very tight. Yeah. We took on each other's uh, customs or pretty much we we learned how different families had, had different ways of doing things. So I was never spoiled. I, I was never spoiled. I mean, of course, my if my brother and my sisters were here, they will beg to differ. But then I would like to think that um, I, I was not as spoiled as some people I knew. You know, people have written about this and talked about this extensively about birth order stereotypes. The eldest yeah, child, you know, the middle child, the youngest I, child. Can you, can you explain to me what is it? Okay, so... Eldest child typically, I think, is like uh, usually put in a leadership role. Okay. So forced to kind of take charge mm -hmm. and can be slightly domineering, bossy, etc. Okay. okay. Youngest child generally spoiled, mm -hmm. well taken care of, mm -hmm. right? Um, everyone kind of looks up for you, a lot of things done for you. But I think Middle child mm -hmm. generally have to try harder. Lah. Okay, we're both married, so, so I can say this. Imagine, <laughs> imagine we had a kid together. The first one, you. You don't want to spoil this person. You want this person to because you are planning for number two, right? So you want this person to grow up as soon as possible, take on as much responsibility so that they can help you with number two, right? Mm -hmm. So number two comes. Don't know whether one number three, you don't know whether one number four or not. So number two, when number three comes, you have to take care of number three. So one and two have to take care of themselves. But number two is still struggling. Whether like why is number three? getting everything, don't know whether this is going to be the last one or not. Then how come the number one has got so much freedom? So number two just don't know where... So basically number two sucks lah! That is it me. sucks to be number two lah, it sucks <laughs> to be in the middle but... Yeah. How about speaking from the point of view of a youngest child? What, what do you think is the, are the best and worst bits about being the youngest? Well, I think uh, the best thing about being the youngest is uh, you can learn from other people's experience. Don't make the same mistakes and get in yeah. trouble. You know what will get you a, a whooping? or you know what will get you in a good book. The thing that suck about being the youngest is actually, hold on, there are no downside to being the youngest. Uh. No, but okay. Oh God, but, exactly. No, it, it's good because if you get scolding, everybody gets scolding. Why the, why the elders never look after the youngest? So why sucks. the middle? This poor middle child who didn't do anything, this younger brother like did something naughty and I get scolded. It sucks! Share! Uh, share alamak! <laughs> Sharing is caring what? Right? No, but okay, wait, wait. Tell me honestly. Yes. Do you feel that this middle child syndrome has kind of skewed or, or kind of made you think a certain way? Yes and no. I always have to try harder. Kind of makes you more of an overachiever because you always feel like you need to try harder. Okay. An example, when I got married and I looked for baby photos, then I look at my older brother's stash, wow, stacks and stacks and stacks of it. Uh -huh. And then I had like, maybe two stacks. Uh -huh. And then the youngest one is like so young, of course he had like stacks and then digital copies and yeah, then yeah, prints yeah. and and I'm like, I'm like this forgotten child. Don't do that to your kids guys, the middle kid needs the love too. Okay, I've always wondered uh, how nice it would be to have a younger sibling. Really? Why? Then you wouldn't be the youngest anymore. You'll be the middle. Yeah, but you see, I'm so confident. Because you're the youngest. <laughs> see? All the people who are not the youngest behind the camera are Let's like... turn the camera. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I say that as in like... I think it's a person's character lah. Would you have wanted a younger brother? Yeah. Huh? I would have wanted to. I, I would have like... Look, why are you doing this ah? You haven't learned from me, is it? <laughs> yeah, just somebody that... What? You talk to my brother like that? Uh, or like, you know, okay, none of us become priests like, boy, you know you have to go, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know daddy scary, you know daddy is like enrolling you into the seminary, right?
the lines are meant to be read a certain way. I, I read it during the, the script read. I read it during the rehearsals, cam rehearsals. And finally, when you go for a take, everybody just breaks into laughter. and like, ah, ha, 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 you read it wrong. I'm like, okay, guys, I mean, how old are we right now? It's no longer funny.